Hello and welcome. We've had the big day out. We've had the party on the prom. But here we are live at this year's event, the Gravesham Riverside Festival 2014. As you can hear, it's already well underway and in full swing. This year, Gravesham Council have teamed up once again with the Cohesion Plus to bring us an incredible day, fun filled with, with all sorts of things for the whole family. Now, earlier on, I went to check out one of the one of the tents that we've got here, one of the big tents. It's called the Trash to Treasure Tent, and I spoke to one of the ladies there to find out what that was all about. Okay, well, we're from Emergency Exit Arts, and um, we've been asked to come here today to run uh, this arts and crafts workshop. Um, basically, recycling uh, is obviously a very important message of our time, and uh, today we're combining it with carnival arts. So we're hoping to um, get members of the public involved to come and make something to wear and wave during a parade which we'll be doing later at 1.30 and at 4 o'clock. Oh, fantastic. Now you said um, the carnival type affair. Do we not have someone here who has come from a very special carnival? We do. Yes, hello. I'm from Brazil and we're coming here today to bring a little bit of a carnival vibe with our boss, Mr. Binbot. Uh, yes, talking about Mr. Binbot, uh, I think he might be here now. Um, I might just need to have a, have a say hello to this chap. Um, hi. Uh, hello. Uh, what's your name and why are you here? Well, well, there you are. Um, that's uh, fantastic. Did you know well, I didn't know that, Mr. Recycle Moore. Thank you very much for that. Uh, come and check out the robot. Uh, and girls, thank you very much. I've managed to grab one of the festival organizers, the maestro of Cohesion Plus, Govinda Sandir. Now, Govinda, it looks like a fantastic festival. Am I right? Certainly is, and I think it's one of our biggest and best to date. So, what have we got lined up for today? Well, very shortly, we've got Ingrid Jelly performing, and Ingrid Jelly and Sunny here, the two of the leading uh, Bhangra stars not just in the UK but in the world so we're very privileged to welcome her here to uh, Gravesend um, and as you said the event is about community cohesion it's about bringing diverse communities together and our idea of having artists like uh, Ingrid Jelly performing today so they can showcase their uh, music to uh, new audiences and obviously other people are coming along from the Asian community they can see um, other artists as well so it's about broadening their horizons and it's obviously using the arts to promote positive community cohesion. Absolutely. Well, that's quite incredible that we've managed to get such a, a worldwide star here today. And they're going to be coming on next, aren't they? Yeah, and Greg Jelly will be on uh, very shortly. And I know he's very much looking forward to performing for his fans here in Gravesham. Excellent. Now, we've had a few storms. What do you think? Uh, I know you're not exactly a weatherman, but do you think the weather's going to hold out? Well, my nickname is Sunny, so that's what I think that needs to, uh, we need to say about that. So, fingers crossed, the weather will be, uh, you know, the sun will be shining on Gravesham today. I think we've heard it there. Um, now, there's lots of things going on, isn't there? Can you name some of the other things that are going on apart from the music? I mean, yeah, alongside the music, we've got the arty party going on. Um, we've got a special um, processions taking place, uh, which Gratian Borough Council Recycling have done. Enjoy the circus, understand about the recycling, watch some fantastic music, and before you go home, go to the food village and have some food. Food, uh, entertainment and education. Excellent. Here in Gratian. So if you guys are not down, please come down and support this fantastic festival. Lovely. All right. Well, thanks for talking to us and taking time out of your, your schedule for that. Thank you, Sunny. Right. So as Sunny mentioned, there is an arty party festival as well, which is going on um, not in this main area, but uh, a little bit into the Fort Gardens. And earlier I managed to sneak off and check that out. The chair of Gravesham Arts, uh, who have put on this uh, this fantastic, uh, I'd say mini festival, yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, How's it all going? It's been fantastic so far. Um, we've got a great lineup of bands. Uh, we've already had Fiddle Fit early on. Balalaika will be playing shortly. Oh, I've heard uh, you've got the best Balalaika player in Gravesham. We that have right? got the best Balalaika player in Gravesham. Possibly the only Balalaika player in Don't Gravesham. need to say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have Galley Beggar this afternoon. Uh, later on, we have the Hawaiian Islanders. They're closing the day at 5 pm, so that's going to be fun because they're a new one for us. And we've also had the Rocker Hillies doing a cappella around the area. They're sort of walking they're, around doing that. Yeah, the they're just doing like wandering minstrels, which is really cool. We've got face painting for children. We've got Punch and Judy. The Robin Academy have done do a bit of dancing. They're dancing behind us now, they I think. Dancing they, yeah. behind us now. We've had poetry readings. That's an awful it's, lot of stuff. We've got a kite workshop. 
Uh, what else have we got? We've got some community art going on with Matt McLeod in the mini big top. So it's just really, really great. Yeah. And so far, it looks like the weather's and holding so out. Oh, the sun is shining on us. Fabulous. That's why we chose the orange here yeah. for the sun. So, <laughs> for so the sun, lovely. Is it right that it splits up into two bits? You've got the performance area. We have the performances down here with all the artists that you can join in with the art that they do. Weaving, uh, glass making, we've got painting. Uh, you can do some, um, what are they called? Uh, tile cuttings. I can't remember what they're called. Oh, you've got so much going on yeah, here, Clay. I don't know what it's called, but you can join in. Yeah. It's really good fun. And you can get messy too. And then up there, we've got the maker's market where people are selling stuff they've made and recycled stuff. So, yeah, it's really, really exciting. To Clay, it, it sounds very exciting. Yeah. Uh, a bit mad, but there we go. Well, well done. It looks like it's done a really fantastic job. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And everybody that's helped, of course. It's not just me. Of course, of yes. course. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Are you finding it a, a good day out for the family? Yeah, it's amazing. The music's good, the weather's holding off for us. Well, yes, I, I imagine you've heard the storms that have been going on. <laughs> Just, and tonight as well. Yeah, is it going to be tonight as well? Yeah. yeah. So what have you enjoyed? I'm going to take a seat if you don't mind. I'm waiting for this next act to come on. So um, what have you enjoyed today? So we just watched Little Mix earlier on, and that was good. I'm not familiar with Little Mix's music. Nor am I, but she is. So. Ah. <laughs> Uh, was this was it Harriet? Harriet, so, yeah. Harriet, so did, wh how did you think they uh, matched up to the, uh, the the main? Yeah, they were good. They were quite in tune. It was good. Quite in tune. Oh, we're live. We can't really edit that out. Okay, they were. We'll turn that into a positive. Yeah, excellent, excellent. And crowd building. Record crowds on the prom so far this time. Now I'm here backstage with the communications manager for the council, Mr. Graham Cole. Hello, Graham. Afternoon, Dan. Afternoon. Um, now, I don't think it will have escaped anyone's notice that we've had some quite uh, stormy weather recently, particularly last night. We've got tents everywhere, uh, not to mention the main stage. Did this cause a bit of a concern? Well, it was uh, a potential disaster waiting to happen. Our big concerns this morning was the potential for lightning strike. And had there been lightning storms, we would have had to have uh, cut all the electricity to all of the uh, facilities, everything on site, get people out of the tents, get people away from uh, trees and, and safely, uh, ask them to turn off their mobile phones and do all this without any loudspeakers. So it was, it was quite a headache this morning and fortunately so far we've seen nothing like what was forecast. Our main problem today has been uh, dehydration due to the uh, humidity. It's, it's good to know that we're in safe hands there, Graham. Uh, uh, thank you very much for talking to us. I know that you're particularly busy backstage, so uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Um, right, so we've got a couple more exciting acts still to come. We've got, uh, uh, let's see if you can guess who these tribute acts are, are impersonating. We've got the Commitments and Killer Queen. I reckon you could probably work out who they are. Uh, but it's not all about music. Uh, a bit earlier on, I. Uh, investigated some of the other parts of the, of the event that we have here today. There are three tents and uh, I've managed to pop round to all three of them. The last of which was the circus tent um, where I met a chap called Kyle and I managed to have uh, quite a bit of fun with him. But I'm in the, uh, in the, in the circus tent with uh, Kyle from uh, Circus Sensible. Um, some exciting juggling going on here. Um, tell me a bit about uh, Circus Sensible. Circus Sensible are a nationwide uh, circus team who go around the whole country, we go abroad sometimes, with our circus tent offering workshops and doing shows for, for adults and children alike. We're just about to do a show and uh, you can tell by the amount of noise in the tent that both of them are very excited about the uh, show we're about to do. So we're about to do a show and it's very, very exciting. So uh, get it out on the TV and get most of them down here. So it's 3.30, you heard it there. Fantastic. Are you actually going to be getting to do stuff? Yes, we are. That's part of the workshop. We'll be teaching people how to juggle scarves, how to juggle balls, maybe a diaper, a flower stick, all the props are outside. We'll be able to have some fun with that and anyone can join us, any age. Whether you've got a bus pass or you're good for tax credits, everyone's welcome. Even my age? Even your age, sir. Even your age. You've heard it there. Even if it was always me, you can do it. Right, Cole, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
Oh, yeah, it's going well. Nice three day by a Russian Borough Council. It's great to give back some of the community. It's fantastic. Yeah. Are you from Gravesend? From Dartford. From Dartford. How does this compare to your festival, eh? Yes, you heard it there. Someone from Dartford enjoys our one. <laughs> This exclusive is, we've actually done White Christmas, we've done three different versions already. Three different versions? Yeah. How are you going to choose which one you're going to go for? We're going to mash them all up together. 